But you have to have overflow. Amen. Amen. Overflow so other people can eat up off the things in which you've been able to reap and benefit off the blessings which you have. Yeah. And that's what financial literacy is all about. But that's what any empowerment is all about. That's what really we're, we're all doing because we're no different than anybody else in this church or in this community. It's just using your skills and your abilities and your resources to give back to other people. Amen. Everybody in this room is a, a problem solver or a problem creator. Yeah. <laughs> when you pass away, you'll be remembered for the problems that you solved or the problems that you created. <laughs> So there are problems here. There's, there's somebody out there on the other side of your hard work, your blood, your sweat, and your tears. Somebody out there is waiting on you to bless them. Uh -huh. There's somebody that's saying, I need some help. I need some assistance. You know, I, I, I need to hear that. It, it, it talks about in Proverbs that there's a poor person that's who's crying out. And he who does not hear the cries of the poor, his cries will not be heard himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's somebody out there who's crying out to just be helped by you, who's crying out to be aided by you, who's crying out to say that, please bless me, but all of a sudden, you look at this huge hurdle that you have in front of you, and in, in the epitome of selfishness, you quit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Ryan. In the epitome of selfishness, you say that the, the things and the trials of my life are not large enough to overcome things that have been raised in front of me, but God knows that that's not the case. Yes. Yeah. God laid upon you a vision that's large enough, large enough to hold, otherwise he wouldn't have gave it to you. That's right. Because when God gives vision, he also gives provision. Sure yes. does. Amen. And that's what we're doing on this tour. It's about financial literacy. It's about making sure that we're using our skills and our talents and our abilities to just give back to other folks. That's what financial literacy is about. That's what we're trying to do. Again, it's not about just getting rich for yourself. It's about the benefit of other people. So, And that's what folks who've done before us have done. We're in Black History Month. That's right. That's right. Imagine if Dr. Daniel Hale Williams would have said that the vision that God has laid upon me to open up your chest and get the old first open heart surgery. Yes, sir. To make your chest work again. Imagine for a second if he didn't have the guts and the courage to achieve his vision. Mm. Those who have gotten quadruple bypasses now can live and say that I thank God for life because of him, the work that he did, and because I am big enough to be able to achieve the vision that God has given me. Imagine, as we talk about those things, if Garrett A. Morgan didn't have the vision to say that I could make somebody breathe outside of, in a room full of, of, of poisonous gases, and I'm going to create this gas mask. Mm. Mm. So people can breathe when it's poisonous, and I'm going to save thousands of lives and, of our people and troops over at war, because now they can breathe because of something that I created. Imagine if he didn't have the courage to follow his vision. There are certain things. Imagine if Harry Tubman would have just went on up north and never turned back and saved other people. My God. My God. Imagine those things of, of people that have come before us. They said, I need to lay down my life for other people that's coming behind me. And that's what we are about. I'm here today to tell you that sometimes we are all left with vessels of sacrifice that we have to make life better for somebody else on this planet. Amen. Amen. And that's for me today, and I thank God for the aid that he passed the journey of giving me, because he's laid his life down for myself and many out else in this community as well. So I thank God for you, Pastor, and I thank God for the folks, and I, I just want to say I'm here for you all and would love to do anything if possible. I am a vessel. Use me to your will. I thank God. God bless. Amen. Amen. Thank you.